Hello everyone, Sigmalator here, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. First of all, I'd like to apologise for what happened in the last episode. I received a call and thought I'd be smart and mute the microphone while I took the call, and that would be easier to edit out. But then, like a lemon, I forgot to unmute the microphone. So hopefully that won't happen again. No more phone calls while... Uh, I'm recording. Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. All right, I will let you sleep. Callo, settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying. If I'd created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. <laughs> now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? Y yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. Cool. So we've got that to do. Uh, first, though, let's head back to Aya, I think. I know we've still, got, steady. still got a couple of things to do here, but we'll let things settle first. Still got Haval to do. We've still got plenty to keep us busy. This is a fairly lengthy game, but again, all, all the Mass Effect games are. I can feel the Scourge's drag on the ship. At least it keeps Aya hidden. True. Can't have the Ket finding, finding, finding this place. Trading favours. Oh yeah. You just talk to the trade guy as well. Hello Aya, we have returned. Hopefully we should be able to actually explore more of Aya now. Stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play to a crowd. <laughs> She's the most high. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the resistance and the pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promised to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. You're still recovering. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Not without our help. <laughs> I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. 
We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Yeah. Well done, Jol. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Jol has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. <laughs> I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Hey! Hit the social to the vault? Not yet. Where's the trade guy? Here he is. You came back. I have bad news. Your supplier, Keldo, the cat got him. Thank you for confirming how he died. You have his supplies? Supplies? Your friend is dead. Don't you care? I grieved for Keldo before I sent you to find his body. He fought for the resistance. Died for it. We still need what he promised. The cat had your weapons. I got them back. Yes. All of them. And kill those killers dead. This is good. You're honest, Pathfinder. Reliable. I'll tell Ephra you did well. I appreciate it. I do want our people to get along. Help each other. You proved it. This time at least. Need to get the weapons where they belong, but... Keldo would want me to help you. I have things you can use, and I want to see your credits for myself. Trade? Think I'm getting the better deal. All you walk away with is a number. True. But who knows what that number will be worth someday. My inventory is open to you. Anything you need. Excellent stuff. Do need some resources, but I can find those weapons, armors, ammo. There we go. There's a loads to do here. Hello. Uh, this is like a news update. Looking for a level 7 starship engineer. Fair enough. What's this? Uh, a team of artists from each of our homeworlds, Aya, Vold and Haval, work together to create this mural. It depicts the centuries of hardship we endured as a result of the Scourge, but also the reunion of our people to build a strong, res and strong resilient society. Well, that's excellent. Quite a few things to do here, and I can't remember what they are. We rose from nothing to touch the stars, made homes on many worlds. Do not mourn what the cat stole from us, celebrate what still remains. All things reach their end and make way for new life to fill the void. The worlds and people we lose will return in time. Families grow forever. We dedicate this garden to those who are not here with us, but who will one day return. This place is for them. Oh, that's nice.
Uh, oh, a fast travel station. Excellent. That's a useful thing to have. Marketplace. Doesn't look like there's anything around on this bit. What about down here? Uh, what's this? Alright, already read you lot. Materials merchant. They let you pass the gates. Huh. It's an honor, and I understand that. I'll be respectful. All right. Everyone deserves a chance to prove themselves. All right. Vesteran, I was there when you landed. Watched you get escorted through the city. I get why everyone was on edge. I didn't mean to worry them. We've been through worse than the arrival of one human. Visit me for all I've never seen all fruit like this before. What are these? Paripo. Sweet with a little bite. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I have a few Kiloa or Elmok. Is fruit scarce here? In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy your Paripo from me, it means you have something to celebrate. It's a luxury. Meant to be shared with friends and family. You won't walk away I'll get moving. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I'll be the poster child for no trouble. Whatever that means, it'll do. Alright. Hello. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again, least of all thanks to you. Welcome to the marketplace. I am Arbiter Renarf. I enforce correct contact between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. Who decides what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. Where I'm from, the biggest trade law is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the governor's office and the resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. All right. All right. Is this the right way to talk to those other people? Possibly. Uh, here we are, the governor's office. Can't go in there yet. I could help. I know a little about politics. I'm a pathfinder. As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from highest people. It'll take a long time to trust strangers again. Which is why they want the Nexus to listen to them. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you take a look and forward their communications to your people. All right. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. As defined by the first founders of Aya, this world will this world and all who live on it agree to abide by the laws, customs, and regulations of civilized society that has existed for centuries on other worlds. These rules of conduct ensure a, a voice for each family within our society and gives them certain inviolable rights. Page one of five thousand nine hundred and eighty-three. Read it. Right. 
What's in here? Console. Don't mind me, just reading your stuff. Personal meeting notes of Governor Peran Uh Wants to open Southern Valley region to de uh, development with gold to provide refugees with permanent homes. Kay believes we're already at risk of overcrowding and harming local ecosystem. Votes to use land strictly for food production. M proposes compromise solution to construct orbital habitats using Nexus technology. Refugees would rotate between IS services and orbital habitats using a lottery system. E disagrees with accepting initiative help and especially tech. Points out the black hole will make orbital obstruction projects difficult. Construction projects difficult. And may attract notice of kept patrols. A final vote delayed to Navaya Bath. We need a better home for our people. Vold is fallen. Havar remains unstable. And Aya is too small to support all of us. Is Kadara Port an option? But we, but do we even dare attempt reconciliation? Dear yeah, Kadara, sounds like a sh real hole. Hello. The Moshai will be waiting for you at the vault. While I'm here, maybe we can talk. Of course. I owe you that. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing. But you proved I was wrong to doubt. No, more than that. You didn't have to save the captives from exultation. I wonder if you realize what that meant to us. We're in this together. The Initiative wants to help. I want to believe it. You're so different from the Ket. What can I do for you? I'm hoping you can get me on Ephra's good side. If I knew how to do that, my job would be much simpler. <laughs> Sometimes it seems like you two don't get along at all. And other times... He's a brilliant tactician and inspiring leader. We just disagree on what's best for our people. He believes secrecy and isolation keep us safe. What do you believe? We can't defeat the Ket alone. And neither can your initiative. I have a few questions about your culture. I'm happy to answer them. Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't your only city, right? Not at all. Vold and Havarl both have several large population centers. Aya has numerous residential areas similar to this. Are these places open for visitors? In time, perhaps. I've noticed that you, Ephra, and Jal all speak with different accents. When the Scourge first struck, there were many Angaran worlds. They were separated for centuries. We developed divergent cultures and dialects. Ephra was born on Vold, and Jal is from Havarl. What about you? The Ket left my homeworld in ruins. Those who survived were forced to flee. We found a refuge on Aya. My family helped settle this world. Aya seems important to the Angara. Aya is paradise. This world is a gift. We created the Vassal so everyone could enjoy this place. If only for a short time. The Vassal? The time of change. Aya's resources are too limited for our entire population to live here. We each earn the privilege of spending a few years on Aya. When our time is up, we leave to make room for someone new. The cycle repeats throughout our lives. Will you have to leave? Someday. For now, Aya needs me. Your people revere the Moshai. What did she do to earn that? After the Scourge, our civilization was in ruins. Those who led the rebuilding were thinkers, experts, and inventors. The Moshai is the greatest scientific mind of our generation. She led us to a new age of technological innovation. When the Ket attacked, she studied their technology, learned their tactics. You owe your survival to her. We owe her everything, and we'll do anything to protect her. So, what do you do for fun around here? The Tavatan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. It's also a great way to get stressed out. 
You sound like my brothers. <laughs> All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. <laughs> ten brothers and eight sisters. You have a big family. I've always thought of it as average. How many siblings do you have? Just one. My sister, Sarah. What happened to the others? Our parents only had two children. Underachievers. That sounds... relaxing. <laughs> when my family gets together, the noise is like standing next to our largest waterfall. My mother says I became governor, so people would have to listen to me. Is she right? Always. <laughs> What's it like being responsible for a whole planet? I suspect it's like being the Pathfinder. Some days it's a burden. Most of the time, I know I'm where I should be. How did you become governor? Do your people elect leaders by popular vote? If by vote, you mean argue loudly until one candidate remains? Then yes. I got here because I was willing to endure and fight for the obligations that come with my office. I sense tension between your government and the resistance. Who's actually in charge? Ephra likes giving orders, right until the actual work of running a city starts. The resistance is good at protecting us from the Ket, but our people need more. I've learned to indulge Ephra's need for control just often enough to maintain my own. Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder. Uh, the translator didn't quite get that one. I can't get in that door yet. Ah, yeah, the message terminal. This is messages to the Nexus. Compiled log of... Just download that. Jesus, that is a lot. Called it unedited. Oh god, which way am I going? Liam. We're changing tone after that care facility. Half the Angara are thankful. Half are even more suspicious. Let's try not to make it worse. Don't worry about me. They're busy glaring at Cora for some reason. Oh, what's Cora done? Hey, Drac. Help me, the Moshi opened a lot of doors around here. Most Angara still keep their distance, though. You are a bit of an eyesore. Speak for yourself. <laughs> when I saw my first human, I couldn't understand how you keep your blood inside. Skin that thin. <laughs> they should put Jarl on every resistance recruitment poster. Did he ever contact you? <laughs> no. That man is impervious to flirtation. Why are the good ones always dead? Oh, sorry. I'm All so right. glad you're back. I'm in one piece this time. I was in one piece last time. A little dented, but in one piece. You hit that wall so hard you had amnesia for two weeks. Technically, I was still in one piece. Oh, another message thing. 
Rider. Hold on a second. You are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Maybe I should introduce myself. Ryder. Well, what do you think? I could get used to this. We take turns living here. You can see why. I love pretty much everything about it. <laughs> I love the air, the breeze. And one day we'll have more places like this. I have faith. Excellent stuff. Right, you, why are you scanning me? Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my home world. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? You haven't even told me your name. Danfra. Biological researcher. This is my home. Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. I can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. That you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I came to this galaxy with my family. I lost my father on the day I arrived. But you still carry on his legacy. He knew that, in the end. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Fair enough. All right. Uh, fast travel station. Oh, I think we're back here. Oh yeah, resistance headquarters. Anything to scan in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, I need to talk to you, don't I? Learned you were coming. I prepared a date pad on our laws regarding war. Learn them. Well, thank you. Now we face an enemy that will not stop until our entire civilization ceases to exist. It's important we not abandon the principles of, ba of basic morality. The Ket must be defeated, but not at any cost. It won't matter if our future generations can live without fear of death or enslavement if that freedom was achieved through genocide or other barbaric crimes. Page 1 of 241. Alright. Is that all of the Arbiters? I believe it is. Nothing around here. Move Team Bay on to replace them. No, Six Nine is too unstable. They'll be out of food in two days. At our moment, three. But I have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kit, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kit outpost, but I don't know. If they could do it alone, they would have by now. Send reinforcements. Getting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. Hey, Ephra. I expect you to take good care of Jol out there. I will. I'm sure he'll return the favor. Don't worry about him. You saved the Moshai. That earned his loyalty. Still wrapping my head around what you found at the Ket facility, that... 
Exultation. It must be hard for you, realizing what the Ket soldiers are. Doesn't change what we have to do. It's war. What do you need? You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ket aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ket ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ket have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ket aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. They treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. There's no official Angaran military? Just the resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Cat mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the resistance real. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not resistance? I a police. Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How is the resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How did you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. <laughs> what success have you had against the Ket? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a spirited argument. You respect her? She holds her own. Not many do. I hope the initiative is making a good impression. The initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're not invaders. Of course. What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. I'll let you get back to it. Good. Ah, you're a ray of sunshine, Evra. All right. I think we've done all the conversations we can for now. Oh, we still need to find Cora. I don't know where the hell she is. I could look at my map, you know, like a sensible person.
Who's in here? Oh, hi, Cora. Let's go over this Brighter. Center, Wish I could join in down there. I could use a workout. What we're doing right now is nothing like a battle. Getting lots of stairs. Reminds me of being on Thessia for a sorry commando training. We're the aliens. Again. For some Ingara, we're the only humans they'll ever see. That's huge. Whatever happens, we'll make a better show than the cat. True. Hello. Pathfinder, Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. Anything I buy will be used to fight Cat. You fight our enemy, but you're not one of us. Remember that. Ugh. Another ray of sunshine. All right. Has this door explored? Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Very reassuring. All right. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angaran injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar. Kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. I'll get moving. Ishari. All right, where are these medical journals? Oops, excuse me. All right, no one else to talk to down here. All right, I think we I think we're good. Why me? We spent most of this episode literally just exploring Aya. Who, who's in here? Ah, PB. Uh, though we don't know much about the remnant or, or its creators, we've determined the remnant were present in Helios long before our people. The remnant's purpose appears to be the same as the planetary vaults, to transform our world into a thriving, beautiful paradise. Before the arrival of Pathfinder Rider in Revolution 826, modern attempts to interact with the remnant had been unsuccessful, but we've been able to coexist with them peacefully here on Aya. Uh, though we know little about pre scourge ancestors, evidence points to a grand multi planet society with sophisticated technology. Many recent discoveries indicate our ancestors even travelled vast distances between systems. Though we have no way of knowing for sure, most scholars theorise our people's early success was due to the use of remnant technology. Ah, quite similar to how the Milky Way's technology is based on Reaper tech. This pottery fragment is believed to be a ceremonial decoration from ancient temples on Haval. Ryder, 
They've got amazing Remtech research going on here. Hey, PB. You know, the more I interact with the Angara, the more I feel for them. Especially with what we know about Exaltation, I can't imagine. Believe me, I'm pissed off on their behalf. You nailed it. That's exactly how I feel. We need to make things right. We will. While we can't know for certain, theories about this remnant device suggest its function maybe to convert rock and sand into nutrient-rich soil. Elliot. I've heard so much about you. Is it true you entered a vault on EOS? Sure is. Amazing. I would have liked to see that. Are you a relic hunter like Avela? Actually, I started as an engineer. The Moshai requested my help cracking encryption on a remnant ship she found. Eventually, that led me to the repository. I've been handling data encryption here ever since. I take it you help run this place? Nalan and I are Avela's assistants. It's been strange getting used to that. Why? Avela's much younger than the previous curator. She has a lot more energy. Sometimes I have to remind her to take a break. She's too passionate for her own good. I'll let you get back to it. Sure, Avela's in here, sir. Elodin. Good news? Well, we got another remnant piece. But nothing Angarin. Pay them for their effort. It's not their fault. Oh, Hello. It's you. I watched you land. Hope you're not calling me it anymore. You heard that. I apologize. I, I was ignorant. What's your job around here? Aelin and I help Avela with her studies. I specialize in restoration. So you make relics look new? New as I can. I'm not a miracle worker, no matter what Avela says. She'll praise Ellen and I to anyone who will listen. Never had a supervisor like that before. I'll leave you to it. Hello. Good to see you again. Any insight you can give me on the remnant tech? We don't know much. To our understanding, it's always been here. Stars. I would love to be the one to solve that mystery. This is quite a place. It feels like home to me. Sometimes I think I should move in here. But it's got a long way to go. Someday we'll fill it with relics of the past, each one telling a story. And my people will come here to learn. And to remember. You'll get there. With enough hard work, yes. Is it normal for someone as young as you to be in charge? I'm no younger than you. And you're a pathfinder. I kind of inherited the job. So did I. I was apprenticed to the former curator. It was my job to bring him artifacts from other worlds. When he retired, I sort of fell into his position. Do you miss relic hunting? Some days, but mostly I'm happy to spend more time with each piece. Have you always been into history? Oh yes. When I was young, I would dig up shells and pretend they were ancient armor pieces. I've always had a big imagination. With only 14 siblings, I got lonely sometimes. 14? That's insane. Why? How many do you have? Just the one. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should get moving. Come back soon. Alright. Not sure there's much else we can do here. Right, you scammed me already. Let's go back out this way, actually, now that I think about it. There's still uh, messages to upload. Oh, excuse me. Uh, did I do this one? Yes. I feel like I've seen you. What's this way? Upload unedited. Writer. Hey, Vetra. Doing okay? Who knew saving a respected member of Angaran society would open so many doors? 
I've been talking to some of their traders, seeing if we can work things out. I know you like looking for the advantage, but we need to earn their trust first. Don't bargain too hard. You're the boss. Hmm. Uh, oh, there was one more round this way, wasn't there? That's probably the last one. Hello. There we go. I think that might be everyone. All right, let's top this episode off then. Oh, hang on. My love, I never planned to leave. Each moment I spent with you only brought me joy, even though you've never understood what you mean to me. There were moments I could have shown you how I really feel, but I wasn't brave enough. Now that you could have... Not that you could have accepted me. Now I have to go, and I don't think I'm coming back. I hope for a day when we owe nothing to anyone. I dream of a moment when we find each other again and claim the lies we always should have left. Hello. Wait. Here we go, Shai. Yes. Okay, following items are cleared for immediate shipment to Vold. Excellent. All right, it's not letting me talk to you anymore. Oh, research center. Don't really need that. All right, cool. We're back here. Let's head over to the vault. anyone here in over 20 years there's always been an active display for Aya but we could never affect it let's see what we can do Sam yes this is new is it similar to the vault on Eos Tell me, what are you seeing? I think what we need to figure out is, what's different? Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming. Doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. Thank you. This is unbelievable. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people, and mine. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down, for all our sakes.
You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Excellent stuff. Meet Ephra at the Resistance HQ. We'll do that. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. I know this wasn't a hugely exciting one. Oh, blimey, look at all those points I have to spend. 41 points. Right, okay, let's quickly get this out of the way. Assault rifles, let's max that out. You're maxed. Yep. Yeah. Biotics, I don't really use. Tech, incinerate, let's... Uh, launches two projectiles instead of one. That's six separate targets. I'm going for that one. Flamethrower. Yeah, improve the recharge speed, I think, for that one. Damage over time. Duration. Damage output from enemies on fire is reduced by 50%. I'll go for that one. Go get everyone maxed up. There we go. So if I ever swap out characters, I don't need to worry about them being behind me. And then finally, Liam. Five points left. Tactical cloak, that would be a good idea. Uh, grenade. And my tools. I'll mess around with that later, but for now, let's end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been sick later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.